I'm recording. I had no idea I was recording. Hey y'all, uh, so I was fixing my hair and uh, making sure I was ready to film this video, but I started filming it, so here I am. I went to the mall today and I did some other miscellaneous shopping today. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna do a haul video. Uh, it's 7 p.m. so the lighting in my room is transitioning from daytime to my nighttime mood lighting so it's very uh, pink in here which I'm totally digging. So I ended up hitting up Sephora because I haven't bought makeup in months. I think the last time I bought makeup was in January so I'm doing really good because I used to be a lot worse about being addicted to buying makeup. So I went a little bit crazy today. But in a, I think it was all all necessary stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I got. And I didn't plan on getting all of this, but it's all stuff that I've, for the most part, have used before. So the first thing I got was these uh, cognac sponges. Alright, here we go. These cognac sponges, there's a red one and a black one in here. They're $15 for both. And I use them all the time. They just help exfoliate your skin. Uh, I just use like a cleanser with it and exfoliate my skin. I've definitely talked about these before. Um, so I just needed to refill on these. I also purchased the Anastasia Brow Definer, which is essentially like the Brow Wiz, um, but it is a thicker, kind of like a thicker thing, I'll show you. Hello? Okay, that's the... Yes, yes. Yes. So it's, uh, you get the spoolie on one end, and then you get this kind of weird, thick thing. Like so. So it just goes a little faster as opposed to the regular Brow Wiz because it's thicker so it just takes less time to fill in my eyebrows. I tested it out in the store and I thought it was cool. I'd heard about it but I hadn't used it before. Another kind of basic normal thing that I use in my daily life. What else do we have? I also got the uh, Stila Liquid Lipstick in Beso, which I have also talked about on my YouTube before. It is just a red, it's like the, kind of the most flattering, at least for me, red uh, lipstick. So I just replaced it too because I had run out. And I also really like um, wearing it as eyeliner. I was actually about to buy a little eyeliner brush at Sephora, but I kind of feel like I can buy like an eyeliner brush anywhere, and then I went to Target and I couldn't find one, so maybe I can't. Let me know what your cheap eyeliner brush suggestions are, but this is... yeah, it's just my favorite liquid lipstick. I think Stila consistently makes the best liquid lipsticks out of everyone else in the liquid lipstick game, which is everyone. Um, but I also haven't tried everything, so I don't know. I kind of just stick with what I know. And finally, this is the one thing that I bought that was not a, um, not a necessary purchase, but I ended up buying this, uh, Makeup Forever eyeshadow. And it's, oh, and I already dropped it. Um, it's just an orange shadow. It's actually so, I tried it, uh, I tried it on when I was in New York. 
uh, and I put it under my uh, like bottom lash line and it's actually so it's like I've never seen an eyeshadow this color which is awesome beautiful orange shadow here we go so obviously the lighting in my room is a little off but it's just this really pretty orange color and it's super pigmented, it's super pretty. It was definitely a little pricey for what I would like to spend on an eyeshadow, but I also don't really buy eyeshadow stuff like that. And it, you also get a palette, like a little individual palette thing that comes with it. It's makeup forever. And then it just snaps in beautifully into place there. I had to have the color. I was thinking about it still, like after I got it, after I tried it on in New York and I knew I wanted it. And because I spent a ridiculous amount of money, I ended up getting the Sephora 500 point gift, which is the best of NARS box thing. And I I just was like, oh yeah, sure, why not? Like the woman telling me about it was very, and I don't know how to open this, uh, was really selling it to me, even though it's free and I don't have to pay for it. But I'm gonna rip it open right now and we can go through it. Um, put this in my trash collection. And let's see, how does this work? This little box. Aha! So you get some things in the box. We're gonna go through them all. So you get the NARS lip gloss, which I'm kind of low-key obsessed with lip gloss right now, but I do not know if this is the color I want. This is like uh, in Chelsea Girls. I'm assuming this is just all popular stuff. I don't think I will wear this. It seems like it's just a nude color. I'm not even going to swatch it. I'm sure it's cute and I'm sure I'll give it to someone else. I also got the blush, um, which is... I don't really wear blush. Do y'all wear blush? I feel like whenever I put it on, I do it wrong or something. Is there like... Because I know with contour, with, uh, contour you go like this. But then do you just put the blush like right here, but then does that get muddy on your face? Um, please let me know your blush tips and tricks and also every time I want to buy blush, I always want to pick the brightest, most red, like hot pink color ever, but I don't really know if that is the way to go. Um, I think it's the way to go because I think whatever you feel like wearing is the way to go. But I cannot open this blush at all. Here we go. Um, let's see. So, this is like the most complicated, just like ripping things to shreds. Maybe I should like show you what I'm doing here. Like, this is actually ridiculous. Alright, let's pop this out. Oh, and here we go. We have a tiny, tiny blush. Another neutral color that people probably seem to like. Very nice. I don't know if I'll use that either, but I'll probably hold on to it. Alright, what is next? Now, the smudge proof eyeshadow base. Oh, so primer, I'm assuming. Which I'll, I'll use for sure. I've been using my Urban Decay one, but I think it's kind of old and I don't know if those things have like an expiration date on them. That's it. And then it looks like it's just a little doe foot applicator. Um, I'll definitely use this. This seems cool. What else do we have here? Oh, this is the last thing. Um, this is the NARS 
Audacious Mascara. Which I will for sure use. It's probably the most useful thing in this package. So I just got rid of 500 points for this. This is the tube. This is what the mascara looks like. Ooh, that looks cool. It's a like a long, it's pretty long, a wand. Cool, I'm excited to use that. And oh, was I supposed to open that? I feel like if I, I'll just start using it right away. I think I, think I am due for a new mascara. I feel like it dries it out fast or something. I also definitely use my mascara for way longer than recommended. Anyway, so I hope everyone's having a good day and or evening or whatever time it is that you're watching this. And I um, will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.